Good morning. Moments ago, standing together with her wife, Sherelle, uh, in the Oval Office, I spoke with Brittany Griner. She's safe. She's on a plane. She's on her way home. After months of being unjustly detained in Russia, held under intolerable circumstances, Brittany will soon be back in the arms of her loved ones, and, uh, and she should have been there all along. Note, it does come with some significant frustration, the inability to be able to get Paul Whalen home as well. Whalen, a U.S. businessman, a former U.S. Marine, remains detained in Russia. The U.S. says that his detention is unacceptable and that it is wrongful. And now, for the first time, we are ha hearing from the family of Paul Whalen, his brother David Whalen, releasing a statement just moments ago celebrating the release of Brittany Griner, but saying, despite Despite the possibility that there might be an exchange without Paul, our family is still devastated. I can't even fathom how Paul will feel when he learns. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that Biden addressed the Paul Whelan question there, though, because that is a big question. This guy has been held longer. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure some people will ask, well, did she get bumped to the front of the line in, in terms of importance of bringing her home because she was a celebrity or because is there more outrage because, I mean, I, I'm sure some conservatives will say it's because she's an LGBT American or something like that. And now we've got Brittany Griner going after Anigwe, and this could get ugly. ...was played. We saw the players leave the floor, go back to their respective locker rooms. One of those actions we'll see throughout the season as part of the social justice initiative. What do you say to the Whalen family who says this is a catastrophe for Paul, Mr. President? We're speaking to that. How soon will he be home? 